This conference will now be recorded. Okay. In like in other programming languages like Java, in Scala also we have something called exception handling. Exception handling. First, try to understand what is exception, then we'll understand how to handle it. Okay. So, what is an exception? As for the definition, exception is an event which occurs during the execution of the flow or execution of the program which will interrupt which will interrupt the execution of the flow and it will come out and throw an, uh, an object I simply says exception is an event which occurs during the execution of the program or middle middle of the program which actually stop and come out from the program which actually stops your execution of the program and it will come out from the program right so let's see let me share my screen please let me know once you are able to see my screen Please let me know once you are guys able to see my screen. Yes, I'm able to see your screen. Yeah. So as I said, exception is an event which stops your program. It will it'll occur during the execution of the program. It will identify some issue with the program. Either it can be syntax error, it can be logical error, it can be whatever it is. Then when it when it occurred that exception, when it occurred that uh, issue or a problem with the code, then it will stop executing the program, it will come out. This, whatever it will come out right, we'll call exception object. Exception object. Let's see a simple example. Let's see a simple example. Look at here. I have a program which will print, which will print some ten lines of high scala, high high scala for a beautiful language to learn. Like that, I have a twelve statements are there. I have a twelve print statements are there. In between, some calculation is there, some simple calculation is there, and the calculation result I'm printing at the thirtieth line. 13th line okay i have a 12 lines of print and statement which will print saying high scala and you are a beautiful language to learn i have 12 print statements in between these 12 print statements i have some calculation and the calculated result will be printed at the Lost after printing all the Scala print statements. Look at here. Look at here. I'm trying to run this program. When I run this program, when I run this program, after third print statement, after third print statement only we have some calculation right after third print statement there is some problem with the calculation there is some problem with the calculation can anyone tell me what is the problem with the calculation what problem it is division by zero right? yeah we are trying to divisible by zero we'll try to divisible by zero which is not really a possible one Divising, division trying to uh, divide by zero is not really correct for that it what it is saying hey you are trying to do you're trying to divide by zero which is which is not correct so it occurred the exception that exception has been thrown that exception has been thrown thrown means uh, the event is occurred the event 
the issue is occurred here the event is occurred it will create an exception object it will create an exception object when i say it's an exception object is that the event occurred right whether it's a calculation problem or it means arithmetic problem or is it a null problem or is it a file reading problem or is sql ex sql execution problem or any other problem okay are you trying to access a array uh, which it does not have element so these kind of different different categories of exceptions are there i mean different i cannot say different categories i can say different classes different exception categories are there i can call it as a categories right so when this is occurred right it will create an object for those category arithmetic it created arithmetic exception object so i'm trying to do arithmetic operations which is wrong operation then what it does immediately it created an object for that it's called exception object the ob it has been it created an object for that and it is thrown thrown is nothing but it reported to it reported to jvm saying that this 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 error then the jvm is uh, i mean uh, written to the console saying that this is the problem so now you look at here after this problem occurred after this problem did it printed the line number 4 and i mean print print 4 5 6 and other stuff it didn't continue the program since this problem is occurred it didn't continue the program it will stop the program it will come out if you stop the program it will came out yes or no yes or no guys yes yeah it, yeah it came out yeah. so so this is called an exception this is called an exception how to handle this exception how to handle this exception any guesses okay to handle this exception we have something like let's say i am assuming there is a problem can occur here so what i will do i will keep that into some monitoring area i'll keep some monitoring on that okay it means monitoring means i'll uh, i'll try to keep this into a special block that special block is called try catch block let me show you that look at here whatever the i'm assuming whatever i'm expecting there will be a problem it comes i kept in a special block or a monitoring area when the issue occur it will try try execute it try execute it if any problem occurs it will get catch it will get catch after catching that after catching that based on the type of exception it is based on type of exception it is based of type of exception it is it will it will uh, what it does like it will directly go um respect to case what type of case it is whether it's arithmetic or they say what type of exception it is it will just go ahead and execute that block then it will continue the program let's see you see actually it happened at the line number three only but while printing in the console it just printed like this okay don't don't get uh think it has occurred at the line number one you can clearly see where it has executed where it has occurred the exception it clearly shows that so the pro the file name under line number it will clearly show this 
so when you are analyzing your program suppose that there is an exception ha happened in while you are executing your job or a program uh, while you are going through your exception message you can try to look for this this line so it will clearly shows that your class name so your class name and the line number both it will show okay so exceptions occur at the line number 11 only okay but while printing in the console it's, it has mixed like this okay so don't don't get uh, confused so it's it is uh, the problem is occur after right after the line one no it is the problem is actually occurred after the line number three only but printing is printed like this okay then even though the exception is occurred even though the exception is occurred the program is the execution is not stopped the execution is not stopped so continue the execution it completed the execution so you can see here so what happened here what happened here when the exception is occurred when the exception is occurred we try to we try to uh, print some block of information right there is something called finally block finally finally block is a block which will be used to uh, clear the resources close the resources or connections or something the finally block see try block is always executes right it will try to execute the code the catch block the catch block may occur may not occur may execute or may not execute i can let me put it in this way if the exception is exception object is created here if the exception object is created then your catch block will execute then your catch block will execute right yes sir no guys the catch block when it will get execute whenever the problem occur whenever the problem occurs then only the catch block will get execute if there is no problem if there is no problem the catch block will not be executed the catch block will not be executed yes or no right but there is something called finally but there is something called finally it always work it always execute it always execute it always executes it always execute so irrespective of whether the exception is occurred or not irrespective of whether the exception is occurred or not our our finally block will get executed you guys get my point what i'm trying to say the catch block will get executed only when occur exception is occurred in the try the catch block will get executed when there is a problem occurred in the try but finally will execute always no matter whether the problem is occurred or not no matter whether the problem is occur or not so even there is no problem even there is no problem our finally block will get executed our finally block will get executed let me show you that also even there is no problem still your finally block will get executed still your finally block will get executed earlier also to get executed now also to get executed so it means the finally is the one a block will always executes will always executes so that kind of block will use to clear the resources like let's say i have opened some files or i have created some connections or i'm trying to access some resources so if any problem is occurred you know you really don't need to have those connections like a database connections or files are opened or some connection socket connections are created so you really not not require them when your a problem is occurred so what you can do you can just close them in the finally block finally block is 
actually used for such kind of purpose. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, no. Yeah, yeah, Ravi. Uh, Ravi, uh, yes, in sir. this uh, line number 15, uh, there is Ravi dot print stack trace. What does this uh, function, uh, this method okay. do? Okay. No, I was trying to explain him. Uh, normally, we'll keep E, 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 like this so it is a variable right how will it be a variable mm -hmm. a variable name and a database uh, type of name correct what type it is yes or no mm -hmm. let's say i want to create employee what you will do yeah, yeah. ravi colon employee equal to new employee like that you will create correct here if mm -hmm. any exception but we have, is true, we have lambda Ah, yeah, I'll come to that. Here, what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say, if any exceptions occurred here, any exception, okay, say remove mm -hmm. this, then it is an exception. So when it throw, that is a type of exception. That's a type of exception, not null pointer, not arithmetic, not array, not array index, or not something else. Correct? Yeah. It is exception. It is the the type of that error the, the type of the uh, event is uh, whatever the e event occurs at the line number eleven that is the exception type exception type mm -hmm. so I'll tell you what is exception this exception is a class this exception is a class look at here it's an exception is a class Java class okay so you can see here the different different mm -hmm. types are there. Runtime exception, null point exception, class cast exception, index or uh, index out of bound exception, array index out of bound exception, string index out of bound exception, unsupported operation, illegal argument, no such. So there are different kind of different different types of exceptions are there, right? There are different type of exceptions. Mm -hmm. So it when you take these things, let's say let me take a null pointer, okay? I'm, I'm, I'll go with an null pointer. I just want to show the source code of the null pointer. It is Java Lang. It comes from the Java Lang in a second. usage of it hmm. I can show you one thing let me go to API Java API could you please uh, keep yourself mute? there is some I think fan or some distance okay Let's take an API. API is what is API? API application programming application interface. Program, programming interface. Yeah. yeah, this application programming interface, what it does, it gives you the set of methods and classes or interfaces which are supported to that pro that programming language. So more we'll call as a, uh, we'll call it as API in uh, this kind of frameworks. Normally it is a reference or I can say it's a help or something. Okay. So since we are talking about null pointer exception, correct? So we need to go to java.lang package. This is java.lang. In this java.lang, the class is we are talking about null pointer exception, right? Uh, let me go to null pointer exception. When I click on this null pointer exception, when I click on this null pointer exception, this is a one class. Look at here. This is a class. This class, you see the hierarchy. Try to remember, guys. This is a hierarchy. It means null pointer is a child. Its a parent is runtime. 
the runtime parent is exception the exception parent is throwable so throwable's parent is object object is the top level class in java object is the top level class in java no matter it is what class you take you take any class from this you take any class from this let's take a, a session error i'm taking okay a session error what is the top level class object you take any class in java that is uh, ja object is a top level class in all the classes in java all the classes in java okay so here we are talking about null pointer exception null pointer parent who is runtime runtime's parent is exception exception's parent is throwable throwable's parent is java i mean uh, which is called object right so this uh, this null pointer exception when it will occur what kind of cases it will occur all those stuff will be there and it has its own constructors suppose i want to create my own null pointer exception i want to specify my own message like like here this is my null point exception right here i want to say not this one i want to say somewhere here okay somewhere here throw new null pointer exception i'm creating an object when i say new it means i'm creating an object yes or no guys when I say new, I'm creating object. What type of object? Exception object I'm creating. So here I'll pass some message. Some message I'll pass. Okay, this is it means I'm creating an ob object for this. So you can find that here. This type of except this type of constructor it is. Or this type of constructor. So you have a different type of constructors, and also it has it's a null pointer uh, constructor details. Okay. So what I'm trying to explain here. You have a different different types of exceptions. Yes or no? You have different type of exceptions. In that exception is the parent to all the exceptions. You can see this. Exception is the parent to all the exceptions. You take any exceptions. Let's take an arithmetic exception. Let's take an arithmetic exception. Arithmetic exception, a runtime exception, and exception. Who is parent for all the exceptions? Exception exception is the parent for him throwable for him object the hierarchy exception is a one class exception is one class that's so what i'm trying to say if you click on exception if you click on exception look at here exception is one class okay it has a subclasses it has its own subclasses those subclasses are these many these many subclasses are there these many subclasses are there for exception it means exception is the parent to all the exceptions exception is the parent exception class is the parent to all the exceptions you guys what understand what i'm trying to say so here what i'm trying to do whenever a problem occur whenever a problem occur whenever a problem occur you can catch them with respect to type is it an arithmetic type is it an null pointer type is it something else we can catch them with respect to type we can catch them with respect to type let's say i'll keep this at the bottom i'll keep this at bottom here okay now if i execute the program you see it will print arithmetic printed arithmetic it means it reach to respect to type that object whatever the object is created here it is reached to respect to type the respect to type is catched the respect to type is catched that object then uh, that block gets executed i just commented the uh, cause message and tax trace and all those th those things also you can print you can print what is the cause of the problem what is the cause message and what is the stack from where it get called first main method is called then uh, then some if you have any other method that is called if you have other method it will call so the stack will show the stack uh, do you guys remember when we are discussing about uh, 
recursion i shown the stack first main method then another method then another method like that the stack will shown here let's look at that also there's a stack trace means that is a stack it will show the stack okay so here there is no stack actually it will just call main method and the main method only we got the problem so look at here arithmetic there is no cause so get cause is actually printed in null and get message uh correct only no uh ah uh, no, it, it doesn't have the specific cost and message is divided by zero and the stack trace is this is the stack trace is this is this part get printed from this part get printed from here this area this area so now you ask me what is this a ravi and all those things right so ravi a and x or whatever i keep here that's a variable type of exception type i'm is something like i'm creating an object that is something like i'm creating an object that object is referring this type it may if any exception occur this type of reference if it is arithmetic exception go inside and take care of this if it is a null point exception go inside and take care of this and if it is a you don't know what type of exception is it is let's say you don't know what type of exception it is you don't know whether it's arithmetic whether it's a file whether it's sql whether it's an uh, array or whether it's index uh, index or interrupted you don't know what type of exception it is so simply just to go ahead and remove all of them just go ahead and remove all of them and just to keep exception that also works because exception is the parent to exception is the parent to all the exceptions that's the inheritance is telling to us right that is the inheritance is telling to us the parent can hold any type of object sorry the parent can hold any type of child object the parent can hold the parent can refer the parent can refer any type of object yes or no guys that's what we have seen in the dynamic polymorphism in yesterday's session or day before yesterday that's what we have seen in uh, inheritance also the parent employee can refer developer employee can refer tester you guys remember this concept yes or no guys when we discussed when we discuss about inheritance i have shown this one yes no i, I just want to understand whether you guys are able to recollect or not yeah so employee i have employee i have a developer child i have a tester child where is the, where is the tester yeah tester child so when i'm creating an object when i'm creating an object i can create like this i have shown this one no your employee is a parent developer is a child so it means your employee reference can hold child object employee can hold child object are you guys getting so the same concept here also the same concept here also exception is the parent to all the exceptions exception is the parent to all the exceptions so he can hold he can he can refer instead of hold i can say he can refer any type of exception he, he can refer any type of exception if you don't want to write a plain exception you can go ahead and write a specific exception you can go ahead and write a specific exception you can go ahead and write a specific exception the, then why i have written case so pattern matching i'm trying to match the pattern so here if, if it is throws arithmetic exception i'm trying to match with a i'm trying to match with a arithmetic if it is throws a null pointer i try to match with a null pointer if it is throws array i will try to match with array so like that i'm ma matching that's the reason we write a case that's right that is the reason we write a case that's the reason we write a case i hope are you guys you guys are able to follow if you are not able to follow please ask me the question i'll try to explain in a different way it's very simple guys a problem is occurred the problem is getting catched here so if you know what type of problem it is you are referring to that type of problem if you don't know what why lambda is your new just to... sorry the lambda uh, operator uh case case x is equal to uh, yeah. null pointer than lambda 
yeah lambda it's a rocket uh, or lambda you can call it as so the problem yeah, uh, rocket. the yeah. reason behind using it is the reason behind duty if this uh, if this problem is occurred if you want to write some information if you want to write some information some block of code suppose i got arithmetic exception i don't want to leave as is i got some arithmetic exception okay. i don't okay. want to leave as is i want to do some operation mm -hmm. If it is a mm -hmm. arithmetic exception, do some operation. If it is a null operation, null exception, do some operation. So that the operation will keep in the block to refer that we use lambda. To refer that we use rocket. We'll call rocket, rocket or lambda, whatever you call. Is this clear to everyone? Is this clear to everyone? Please let me know if, if you are not. Please let me know if you are not clear. Venkat. Mohan. Yeah, it's clear. Okay. So this is called exception handling. If you write a try catch block, final is the option. Okay, it doesn't mean that always you have to write a final. No. Whether you write it or not, no matter. But if you write a try, you should have a catch. If I say no, no, I will not write a catch block. Uh, uh, go ahead, whatever you wanted to do. So then it will say, oh, try also there without catch. No, guys, welcome. This color supports that. No, try should be there. I think uh, it's supporting. Yeah, it's, it's actually it is supporting in the sense it is not handling the object. I mean, it, it's not handling. It is not handling your exception. Generally, uh, it's considering there is no exception. I mean, there is no hand, exception handling. But in, in Java, oh yeah, I'm surprised. One second. If we go to the Java example, let's say exception. I catch demo. I go here. I should have at least finally or try. See, the catch are finally accept, expected. The catch are finally expected. It should be there. The catch are finally should be there. Otherwise, it will not worry. Either you can keep a finally or you can keep this one. That's that's what the Java says. But I'm really surprised. In, uh, let me try remove all of them. Mm. It is considering it is like an normal statement. It is not considering as an exception handling. It is not considering as exception handling. That's the reason it's allowing. That's the reason it is allowing. Yeah. But keep in mind that uh, don't write try alone. When you write a try, there should be catch also. But it, uh, it, it's not giving any error, but it is not handling also. It's not giving any error. It's not handling also. Okay. So if you if you don't want to write catches, you don't want to write a catches like this, like this. You can write finally. You can write finally. Okay, let's do one thing. Just explore this. Here also exception didn't handle, but the final block is there exception. If you want to handle the exception, you have to write a catch block. You have to write catch block. And one more thing I want to show you here. I think I have shown sometime last time. Uh, suppose you have modified your source file. I mean, we'll call it as a source file, right? You have modified your file and you want you forget what change you made. You forgot what change you made and you want to revert the code. You want to revert the code to the before change. You want to re revert to the code to the before change. What you can do? Uh, right click local history. Your IntelliJ will maintain the history. History of the file, how many times you modify it. Okay, it will maintain the internal history. So you can select 
when you when you change the code you select that what it also shows that when you change and sometimes it will show the data also so look at here uh, 16 6 2020 like that it will show the data also so that time you can click when you click on that respect to time frame uh, it will show that it is a old file it is a current file you can see here it's a current it's a older file so you can choose which of the file or which of the change you want and you can just click on this arrow this arrow means accept the changes so it will just come here or if you want to specifically select one one by one you can select one by one also you can select specifically one by one you can select one by one also okay this is uh, to see your local history of a file so how many changes you made or what are the changes you made and how it is different from the previous file or pre previous version of the file and how we want to revert it okay okay any questions on exception handling any questions try catch finally this should be uh, in the programming coding standards yes this three should be there so we, suppose finally is an optional because whether there is a whether you, you may want or mean you may uh, may not want like uh, uh, close the resources okay but if you have a resources like if you are uh, if you have open uh, uh, what i can say mm, the file you have open or uh, connected to database uh, you connected to uh, some kind of socket so, but when we have to close it irrespective of whether the exceptions occurred or whether exception is not occurred we have to close them after our our work is completed we have to close them otherwise they will be lying on uh, they will be open and lying on the, uh, uh, the while execution right those objects will be lying on the uh, heap right so if you close them the garbage collector will clean if you close them the connections will be get closed and the garbage collector we will remove it so that's the reason we need to always uh we, we really we need to always uh, clean those things any questions any questions no. okay Let's move on to the next example. So now you guys saw the difference without exception handling with the exception handling. So the advantage of handling exception, we can throw our own uh, message. We can handle it. Okay, even though the uh, the problem is occurred, don't worry, don't stop the program, just continue. So when you want to say that, we have to do the handle exceptions. Okay, let's see the try catch demo. Try catch demo. Yeah, that's what even it allows. So when you, when you try to do the try, there should be a specific catch, which I already have explained here, like this. We can have a finally also. So you should have a catch. The catch also, if you want to specific exception, if you want to throw, or if you are not aware, there is a possibility null point exception can occur. There is a possibility array index can occur. There is a possibility file not found. So such kind of if you are worry about it. So as I shown earlier, you can keep any one of the type number format. Suppose you are assuming okay, you are trying to access a number which is not actually number. Uh, it's a string or something. So such kind of exceptions you can uh, throw here, and they will be catch. You can clearly mention them. Okay, that's will will mention in the form of case. And these are you can keep anything is x a your name or e or whatever it is. That's just a variable. That's a, just a object you are creating, reference object you are creating. Okay, inside that, uh, if you want to print the cause of the problem, if you want to print the message of the problem if you want to print the stack of the problem yes you can print them as well normally what we will do in the real time we will log we'll use the logger there is something called log 4j or log sl4j there is a different kind for sl4j or there 
so we will use those loggers logger factory and we'll create a logs and we will uh, we will throw those logs i'll also show you on logging how we will log how we will create a log and all those things i'll show on time okay and you can have one try you can have multiple catches so as i uh, explaining earlier try inside the try you can have catch inside the try you can have so you can have a nested try catches okay inside the try you can have one more try inside the finally you can have a one more try even inside the finally also you can have one more try or inside the catch also you can have it you can have a uh, this thing so you can have like that any number of the combination nested try catch also is allowed in java I'm, I'm just comparing with java so in java if i write this catch look at here um just completed here just completed started here ended here so i have shown exception right so like this i can have any number of exceptions here also i can have any number of catches i can have any number of exceptions so I suppose if I write null point exception like this, null point exception, let's say I'll say any. If I write arithmetic exception, I'll say a. If I write uh, interrupt exception, Interrupted exception, or if I say SQL exception, or class not for exception, number format I write. Okay, number format exception. Okay, okay. If I write like this, we get here. They're all showing error. Why they all showing error? And see the error message exception java dot lang dot null point exception has already been caught ha already been caught it means it is not reaching to the chains because the parent is already caught a parent already is pulled it so that's the reason the when you're writing the catches so first we'll keep the chains first then parent then parent why because if you keep the parent first like this if you keep the parent first parent can handle it no parent can handle it it never reach to the chains it never reach as we discussed earlier as a uh, inheritance concept parent can easily handle any child object right that's the reason the order is important in the the order is important in the java like first you have to keep parent First you have to sorry first you have to keep child at lost parent if none of them the parent if none of them is ha handled then it has to be a parent this is this chaining this chain will call multiple multiple exception handles this this is important but but in scala it is not actually throwing the problem it is not actually throwing the problem but it never reaches to the chains see if i keep this case if I keep this case here, it never reached the chain. It never come down. It never come down. There is no point writing them. There is no point writing them. If it is arithmetic exception, exception can hold. I mean, uh, can handle. If it is a null point exception, that can handle. If it's interrupted, that can handle. Arithmetic, it can handle. So when it is able to handle the parent, it never come to the chain, right? So parent itself will protect it will not allow to change so be careful while you are writing the, if you want to throw a specific exception specific arithmetic also execute only arithmetic null point null so keep them first the parent at last parent at last that's the reason if i'm trying to execute this code always it is going to ravi only look at here i mean ravi means this block uh, let me put a print statement to make it very clear I am from exception block.
it always executes the exception block only it never come down it never come down never come down don't allow no matter whether you are throwing arithmetic or you are throwing a null pointer it never come okay so if you keep this at last if you keep at this last then there is a possibility then there is a possibility if these are not able to handle then it will come to the parent or if they are able to handle it will they will get the their respective block of code will execute but now it look at it will show arithmetic show arithmetic because he is able to handle or i guess getting the order also is this clear guys yeah ravi yeah okay. so that's what uh, we need to understand uh, uh, how it how the try catches will work and what is the order we can have a nested try catches uh, uh, how to handle that also we, we discussed okay and uh, next one next one there is something called throw and throws throw and throws try to look at the throw and throws okay i'll just let me close other stuff close this close this let it be this we'll talk about that later any latency also i don't make quick i'll close it throw see throw is when you are throwing an exception see by default what happen whenever an event is occurred which is identified by the jvm which is identified by the jvm jvm felt that hey this is not illegal statement this is illegal statement dividing by zero is not a correct it's the illegal statement so then call arithmetic and throw arithmetic exception so what jvm will does if it identify any illegal operation it 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 try to find that what type of operation it is respect to class it will call and it will it will create a object and throw that's what the jvm does that was the jvm does suppose if you want to throw your own exception you want to say your own way so the programmer want to throw not the jvm on a specific operation on a specific condition on a specific condition when a programmer want to create an object and throw create an object and throw that's where we'll create our we'll create our own exception throw throw it means we are throwing it not the jvm when you throw it handles by jvm that's a different story so it identifying the pro, the line will get executed and it is uh, the uh, line number 19 will get executed by jvm only it is throwing jvm only but you have written the throw statement you have written jvm didn't identify and throw you have written the statement it means see a very simple i'll say this age is less than 18 years age there is a age it's a less than 18 years is illegal statement to the code normally don't look at this program normally having a age less than 18 years is illegal illegal statement no dividing by zero dividing by zero is the illegal statement or not yeah and i have a string called null i'm trying to do the operations on the null it's illegal null pointer exception i have array of five elements i have my array size is five elements but i'm trying to access the 10th element i have a array of five elements i'm trying to access the 10th element it's illegal so these kind of illegal statements i if jvm identifies it creates the object and throw but based on your logic based on your program requirement if you are identifying some condition then you can throw you can throw you are throwing an exception you create an exception object you create an exception object you can throw a message also here you can also have a message also here a 
exception occurred due to due to um, less age or a minor or whatever it is whatever it is okay you just specific are you without message also you can throw that's that's how the constructor allows that's how the constructor allows if you remember here that's how the constructor allows suppose if you throw arithmetic exception arithmetic exception has its own way of constructor actually two 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 constructions only will be there one is a message and one one is empty actually there is one more you can write your own message you can throw message and a cause also you can throw message and cause also you can do that okay you can have one more constructor with the two parameter but here only one parameter uh, that's all look at here you, you look at here this is what i was talking about look at here only message message and cause message cause and uh, suppressible or not some other parameters okay the different different uh, constructors actually different different uh, constructors okay so that we'll discuss later you guys understand now what is the throw you understand what is the throw meaning of the throw throwing an exception when you want to throw when you want to explicitly throw uh, ex exception explicitly it is not internal it is you are explicitly or throwing it's not implicitly so you are explicitly or throwing it then when you throw what will happen let's say this is my method validate age i'm throwing an exception Th this exception object will be get created try to understand the flow guys okay this object will be created then where this method is get called this method is get called from where main method it will go to the main method it will go to the main method and if that may that method is there in the monitoring area like a try catch that will get a handle if it is not in the my it is not in the monitor area it will get it will throw it will give to the jvm let me sh let me show you without the monitoring area first without the monitoring area then we'll see with the monitoring area 13 i'm passing age 13 try to look at here passing is 13 so when you pass is 13 look at here exception thread exception occurred due to minor i mean less age or something instead of minor let's say plus age age is less than 18 let's say due to age less than 18 just try that message so what are the message you write that will print here nothing else okay so occurred due to age is less than 18 years so this is a stack guys okay this is the stack this is called stack in main method get called look at the main method main method get called so in the main method line number 12 line number 12 what happened to line number 12 another method is get called another method is get called then line number 19 line number 19 the actual problem is occurred the actual the problem is occurred this is called stack trace stack trace it's a stack of methods not first main method so in that uh, later validate method so later definition of the method line number 12 i mean a, a method calling at the line number 12 uh, the definition is line number 19 the actual ex exception is thrown at the line number 19 so that is you when you don't handle it when you don't handle it whenever the callee and whoever is called the program when he don't handle it let's say if he is handled it if he is handled it try catch if he is handled it then you know that what will happen if you handle it you know that what will happen right let's say i'm passing age is 17 years so the problem is get handled the problem is get handled look at here the, you can see that output how was the before output and how is the now of output it's, the, it's not close the program it is not stop the program it came so uh, not eligible for vote not eligible for the vote let's say 17 years is not really good age to vote so then after that exception occurs you have some other code to execute that's also getting after the call to validate age method 
So it means you handle the exception, you handle the exception, and continue in the program. You are not stopping the program. This is what I am trying to say. The advantage of ex handling exception handling is you are actually you are actually not stopping the program. Even though the problem occurs, you are not stopping the program. You are continuing with the, your execution flow. This is about throw. Everyone is clear about the throw. Throw means you are throwing an exception, guys. That's it. When you want to explicitly throw an exception, you, can, you will write throw. You'll write throw. And that will be handled by either you, which you are writing uh, try catch, or you can just hand it over to the JVM. The JVM will take care of it. The JVM will take care of it. This is clear. Is this clear? Please tell me if it is not clear. I'll explain again. Next is throws. Throws looks similar, looks similar, but is not exactly, not exactly similar. Throw is we are throwing explicitly and someone has to be handled it. Someone has to catch it and someone, ha someone has to be handled it. But here throws when you really do not want to handle it. Or when you are expecting there is a there is a problem can throw from this piece of code. You can, you, you can write throws. So what it does, it provides some information to your caller or JVM, uh, whoever is executing the function, saying that there is a possibility this, this method, that piece of code can throw an exception, can throw an exception. You can see the line number 19 to this. When you say throws, it means you are providing information. There is a possibility this method can throw an exception better please handle it suppose uh, i'm i'm trying to call this method i'm trying to call this method let me show you uh, let's try it. let's say okay let me do one thing let me write a new code test okay i already have test books Throws test. Look at here. It's a throws test only. Throws test means here. Yeah. Look at here. I'm writing throw. Or else I can write uh, one more class, which is an object. Throw demo. Okay. Throws demo already there. Okay. Uh, throws demo test. Throws demo test. Okay. Here I will have a main method. In this main method, I'm going. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just val th exception. Okay. Um, th colon. It is a throws demo. It's a throws demo type object. Is equal to new uh, throws demo object i'm creating sorry, throws demo object actually it is uh, let's just throw stuff. see it is a, not a class actually it is an object okay so what i can do here is throws demo test it's not actually a class so that's the reason um let me do one thing. Throws demo dot validate edge. I'm trying to call from here. I'm trying to call from here. So when I'm trying to call this, this method actually throw an exception. So it means Whoever is calling this, they have to handle it in the monitoring area. They have to handle it in the monitoring area. 
if they don't want to handle also it's, it's fine still it's fine if they don't if they don't want to handle it still it's fine look at here let me keep this one here let me allow this here if i execute the program with the 19 uh, 17 let's see what will happen it is thrown it is thrown the uh, exception nothing happened actually jvm will handle it whether you handle it or not no problem jvm will handle it okay so when the problem is occurred this statement didn't execute these two those these two statements are not executed but if you handle it the advantage of it if you handle it if you handle it the output of execution will be different the output of execution will be different not eligible for vote and after the call of the so that's a throws you are telling to you are providing extra information about the method or piece of code saying that there is a possibility it will throw an exception if any issue occur it will throw the exception throw you are explicitly throwing an exception throw you are explicitly throwing an exception nothing else that's the difference between those two people may ask in interview what is the difference between the throw and throws okay tomorrow uh, we'll discuss about the custom exception then we will start collections and i'll see if anything i miss i'll i'll try to uh, combine them so tomorrow we'll see custom exception i don't want i don't want these exceptions whatever it is given here uh, by default i don't want them i want to have my own exceptions i want to have my own exceptions then we'll go with the I don't want to these exceptions. I want my own exception. Let's say I am doing a bank transaction. So I want to say withdrawal exception. I want to say withdrawal exception, or I want to say deposit exception, or I want to say a specific exception to my application. Specific exception to my application. Then we will go ahead and write custom exceptions. Then we will go ahead and write custom exceptions. Custom means our own, which is not exist in the system. Okay. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Okay, if no questions, uh, uh, we'll wind up here and we'll connect in the next session. Okay, thank you, guys. Thanks for your time. Have a wonderful day. We'll connect in the next session. Thanks, Avi. Thank you guys, bye.